New surveillance video is giving us a look at a devastating moment that a cyclist was hit and killed by a tractor trailer in the summer of 2015. Members of a statewide bike coalition it say it matters now because it's evidence the driver should still face charges. Police, though, won't reopen the case, and the group tells Julie McDonald that's an insult to the driver who died. This ghost bike still marks the intersection where Anita Kerman was hit and killed. The 38-year-old is remembered as a brilliant surgeon, also described as brilliant in life. A new look at a years-old tragedy. The Mass Bicycle Coalition obtained video from Boston police showing a deadly crash in the summer of 2015. Dr. Anita Kerman was killed after being hit by a truck. The video shows her approaching the intersection in the bike lane on the left. The flatbed turns onto Beacon Street from Mass Ave. She continues straight and is run over. We think this is the most unfortunate example of victim blaming we can ever cite. Mass Bike believes the trucker was at fault. 16 seconds she's there. That's lots of opportunity for the driver to say, oh, she's caught up with me. I have to be careful. He clearly never did. Came by shortly after she was killed. John Ashby rides this same route every day and knows the intersection well. The gross negligence. If you kill anybody, you ought to be, you ought to be uh, held account for that. But the district attorney tells WBZ the driver did not break the law, saying we welcome measures to make our roads safer for cyclists and pedestrians, but we have an ethical obligation not to charge a case we know we can't prove. Investigators say there was no evidence of driver impairment, distraction, speed, or failure to signal. Instead, it showed the challenges of operating such a large vehicle in city streets. In Boston, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.